What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about some fragrances that very much surprised me with just how ridiculously long lasting they are on my skin. Now look, this is my experience. There's no guarantees that you will get it. That seems to be the overall consensus for most people though. But these are four very specific ones that are quite affordable, smell great, are their own thing. They'll remind you of other things, but they're not inspired by fragrances. They're definitely originals and uh, known to be pretty compliment heavy for a lot of people, and they're affordable. So a lot of good, good boxes to check as far as this list. So uh, let's dive into them. Stay tuned. Starting with Dumont's Nitro Red. The hype is real on this one. I totally get why everybody's been digging it, why people kept recommending it to me. That smells so good. Absolutely a watermelon Jolly Rancher type of deal. Uh, there's a little bit of zest and spice and some woods and it's aquatic. Like there's a lot to like about this. It's on the youthful side playful everyday wear type of fragrance with ridiculous longevity we're talking 10 hours easily on my skin and it's very loud in the first hour and a half to two hours uh, if you spray this one on the heavier side you're filling a room easily you're probably gonna choke yourself out but people are going to smell you it's youthful it's playful it's attractive it's in the same realm of stuff like invictus and yedp and hawass while similar to those in many ways its own thing for sure that heavy watermelon note is the biggest like differentiating factor to this fragrance just phenomenal i would highly encourage you to check this out this goes for a little over 30 bucks it's an absolute bargain for what you get this is a great fragrance and it's nitro red from dumont next is one of the newer releases from latafa it's a flanker to one of their most popular fragrances ever this is kamra kawa so that beautiful sweet benzoin dominant lightly spiced kamra dna and add some roasted coffee. The color of the juice is very fitting. It kind of smells as it looks. Uh, where Kamra was kind of known as being somewhat of an Angel Share type of twist, in some ways, sure, but if you put it side by side with Angel Share, not exactly, like maybe 60, 70%. Like there's some similarities, but that's a much sweeter fragrance. Whereas the sweetness is not, I don't want to sit here and say muted, but when you add in this roasted coffee smell, it changes the game completely. It is so freaking good. And it's almost like a caramelized coffee type of smell, like caramel and coffee. I don't even remember if caramel's in there, but it has this caramel-like sweetness to it, not just vanilla and tonka bean. And like I said, it has this benzoin, almost effervescent, vanillic like uh, ambery tone to it. This is really good. There's some spice in here as well, but it's not as spicy as the original, and even the original really wasn't all that spicy. Very sweet fragrance, you have to like sweet. I do think this is superior to Kamra. I think if you're just gonna get one of the two, because they are extremely redundant to one another, this is the one to get, and this is another one, every bit of 12 hours, easy and longevity. This stuff lasts and lasts and lasts. It's loud too. You don't need a lot of sprays. If you like coffee, you like sweet, you will like Latafa's Kamra Kawa. Back to the fresher side of things, this is one that I wore recently and um, I've finally come to the conclusion that I like it more than what it's flankered from. We're talking about Hawass Ice from Rasasi. I still love Hawass. Hawass deserves all the hype it's ever gotten over the years. It's a great fragrance, but I do think this is a bit superior for the intense freshness. Um, and when I say that, it's because this mint note that's added to it, it's more watery and aquatic overall. It still has the fruity sweetness, but you lose the spices like the cardamom and cinnamon that was in Hawass, but you maintain that plum fruitiness. Um, it's just a fresher, more even more summer appropriate take on Hawass. It's redundant to Hawass. You don't need both. I've gotten to where I think this is the better of the two personally. Crazy longevity, another one 10 to 12 hours, easy. Another loud fragrance, great sillage on this one. I love it, I have to say. Um, where when I first got it and first reviewed it, I was like, it's good, but I think I still, it's really good. I just think I like Hawass a little more. That has changed over spending time with it even further to where it's, yeah, this is the one for me. And luckily, it's in the 50 some odd dollar price point where Hawass usually sits, so it did get a lot more affordable from where it was when it first came out, which I'll have links to everything down below if you guys wanna check it out. This is actually the most expensive of the bunch at like 52, $54 or something like that. It's still very affordable, great performance, smells great, 
I'm gonna pull some compliments for a lot of people. It's just it's wonderful, especially for these warmer seasons that we're moving into. Great performer, great smell. Doesn't cost a ton of money. It's always a good thing. Rosasi Hawass Ice. Now this last one we're gonna discuss, it's it's been very polarizing, which is kind of surprising to me because I think it's just such an enjoyable fragrance. You would think most would love this one and i think that's still the consensus you know how it is negativity always speaks louder than positivity for every hundred positive things that one negative thing will stand out and that i think that's kind of what's going on here with latafa's Assad zanzibar this is i think a phenomenal fragrance um is it going to be their best release of the year we'll see it's really good though i like it more and more every time i wear it i've been wearing it pretty much once a week since i got it Salt water, slightly creamy coconut, roasted tonka beans. That's how I always describe it. Even though it's incense and vanilla, it smells like roasted tonka beans to me in the dry down. Very tropical, not too heavy on the creaminess, though there is a noticeable creaminess to the scent profile. It's still fresh, it's tropical, it's kind of beachy. And I get phenomenal longevity on this one. I get 12 plus hours on this. This is eternal longevity on my skin. I've seen people say they get terrible longevity. I think you're going nose blind. My girl said the same thing. Well. Tell her stop sitting next to you for so long so she doesn't go nose blind either. Because, and look, people could be getting terrible performance. It's just hard to believe for me because I get ridiculous longevity out of this. Now, it's not overwhelmingly loud. Early on, it's really loud. First hour, hour and a half or so. And then it's, you know, light reminders here and there for a long time. A long time before it becomes a skin scent for me. So... Some people could be saying their projection is all they're smelling. I, you know, that happens a lot where people will say they only get two hours and it's gone when really it's projecting for two hours and they consider it gone when it's not really, you know, pushing to where somebody can smell them from six feet away. So I think that's a lot of what's going on. Everybody's experience is different, but my experience has been phenomenal with this fragrance. Great atomizer. Great decision by Latafa to roll with this. There are some relations to Le Beau people have been tying it to. I think it smells the least like Le Beau Le Parfum, but I can understand Le Beau Eau de Toilette being a slight tie-in here. Same perfumer, um, and it's a coconut-based fragrance. So I do get some similarity there, but in no way would I say these are the same fragrance. They are. There's more differences to these to this in Le Beau than there are similarities. Um, it's around 35 36 bucks at this point. I think it's one of the best, you know, sub $40 fragrances money can buy right now. It's just what it is. A great, great performance. It smells great. It's not identical to any other coconut fragrance that I have, which I've gotten a lot in the last two years. I think it's worth checking out. Great performer. Smells great. It's affordable. Latafa Asad Zanzibar. Well, that's the four that I wanted to talk about in this video. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. These four, what have you tried? Like I said, I'm going to try to have links for everything down below. I believe everything should be in stock uh, from all their different places. The perfume box for this. And the other three should be available uh, currently with Fragrance Buy, which I'll have down below for you guys. If you're interested in checking them out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these four and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.